In this video, let's take a look at snack bars in Angular Material. Snack bars are basically like notifications that inform users of some operation that has been performed. They appear for a short duration at the bottom of the screen and they don't require user input to disappear. And at any point in time, only one snack bar notification may be displayed. Let's begin by importing the module. So in material.module.ts, import mat snackbar module and add it to the material array. Now in our HTML, let's add a button that will open the snackbar. So button, add the mat button attribute and handle the click event. On click, we will call a method called open snackbar passing in a string item deleted as argument. The button text is going to be show snack bar. So we now have a button that calls the open snack bar method. Let's go to the class component and define that method. To open a snack bar, we need to make use of a service. And that service is mat snack bar from angular slash material. So go ahead and import it. And once you import it, inject it in the constructor. Constructor private snack bar of type mat snack bar. Now we can define the open snack bar method which will actually open the snack bar. So open snack bar accepts a message and within the body we use the service instance and call the open method passing in the message. So the service instance is this dot snack bar and we call open passing in the message. If we now save all the files and take a look at the browser we should have a button and when I click on the button the snack bar should pop up at the bottom of the screen with the message item deleted. So we have a basic snack bar working as expected. Apart from the message, we can also specify an action for a snack bar. The action is specified as the second argument to the open method on the service instance. To keep the open snack bar method more generic, I will pass the action parameter as well from the click handler. So in the HTML, the second parameter is going to be the string dismiss. In the component class, the method will now take a second parameter, which is action. And the same is passed to the open method. If you now take a look at the browser, click on the button. A snack bar opens and you can see the message item deleted and the action dismiss. When I click on this action, by default, it closes the snack bar. A typical use case for this type of snack bar is usually to undo an operation. For example, let me rename the button to delete and the action to undo. But when the user does click on this action, we want to execute some code that will undo the operation. The way we are alerted when the snack bar is dismissed or the action is clicked is by using observables. So in the component class, we are going to start off by storing a reference to the snack bar that has been opened. So let snack bar ref is equal to this dot snack bar dot open. Now using this reference, we can subscribe to the after dismissed or on action observables. So the first one is after dismissed. So snack bar, sorry, snack bar ref dot after dismissed dot subscribe. And we are going to basically log the statement the snack bar was dismissed similarly we also have snack bar ref dot on action 
dot subscribe and over here we are going to log the statement the snack bar action was triggered if you now go back to the browser and open DevTools, click on the delete button and click on the action, we can see the log statements in the console. Action was clicked and the snack bar was dismissed. I just have console log statements, but you can have the code to undo the deletion. So we have the message and the action which are passed to the open method. There is also a third parameter which accepts some configuration. The one which would be used mostly is the duration property. The duration property indicates the length of time in milliseconds to wait before automatically dismissing the snack bar. I will add an object with the property duration and set it to 2000 which is 2 seconds. So comma an object duration set to 2 seconds. If you now go back to the browser, click on the button, the snack bar pops up but after 2 seconds it automatically dismisses. And in the console you can see the log statement. So the after dismissed part of the code was executed when the snack bar was dismissed. So when you have an action, you can use the on action observable. And when you don't have an action, but want to execute some code when the snack bar is dismissed, place that code in the after dismissed observable. The last point to discuss is about the open from component method. As the name indicates, the open from component method creates and opens a snack bar with a custom component for the content. Let's take a look at an example. In the existing component class, which is app.component.ts, I'm going to quickly copy paste another component. Now you could create the component in a separate folder, but for simplicity, I have it right here. As you can see, the template is a span tag with color set to orange. Now in the app module, I will add the component in the declarations array and add to another property called entry components. All right, now that we have a component to display as custom content, Let's add a button and a click handler to open this snack bar. So in the HTML, button, mat button, click handler, it is going to be open custom snack bar. The text is going to be show custom snack bar. And in the component class, we're going to define open custom snack bar and this is basically going to be this dot snack bar dot open from component we pass in the custom component as its first argument and then we pass in duration of two seconds if you now go back to the browser and click on show custom snack bar we should have our orange colored notification custom snack bar. All right, that is pretty much about snack bars in Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.